and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Overwhelm Smash. You may remember this deck from Meme Tier Monday not too long ago, and it was pretty impressive, and what I really liked about it is just how we can play some very, very large units with Overwhelm, and with the removal of Will of Ionia from the format, because nobody plays Will of Ionia anymore, just playing large things with Overwhelm is honestly a pretty good spot to be. You know, you don't have to worry about playing your Armored Tusk Rider and then it getting bounced right back to your hand right away afterwards, or Darius or Sejuani or anything like that. And so that's what our deck's about. We got Darius, Sejuani, Tusk Rider, even Scar Maiden Reaver with the um, Overwhelm and Regeneration, which with a lot of smaller removal, Regeneration, very powerful. Um, Captain Farron getting us those Decimates, Tusk Raider, um, even doubling the power and health of all the allies. So a bunch of big stuff like that. And we can start off pretty well. Omenhawk is a great one drop. We got Saboteur, Grenadier, being able to do some Nexus damage to help us out. Um, I'm putting in Avaros and Trappers. We didn't have those last time, but Avaros and Trapper I think is just really solid. Um, now the two cards that I'm probably the most skeptical on are our four mana cards with City Breaker and Wolf Rider. Both of them are pretty hit or miss. Like, there's going to be times where City Breaker is amazing of doing that extra damage to level up your Sejuani um, or turn on the plunder that you need for Tusk Raider. There's going to be some times that City Breaker is great, but other times it doesn't do very much. Kind of the same with Wolf Rider. Sometimes it's it's spending an extra mana for Iron Ballista. Other times, um, you know, you can play this on turn four and then uh, turn five you get to start dropping Sejuani, Darius, Tusk Rider, and stuff like that. So they're both pretty um, pretty high variants. We'll, we're going to start playing some games with this, but we may change those cards. Other things that we're thinking about playing is maybe Trifarian Assessor, maybe Babbling Bjerg, or playing more Iron Ballista, um, more Hearthguard, because Avaros and Hearthguard is just always solid. So we could play like more Ballista, Hearthguard, and like these two four drops with Babbling Bjerg and Trifarian Assessor. Um, we'll start with these two, but we may change those right away. So let's see. All right, so we're gonna try this over in ranked now. Um, <clears throat> I'm just a little worried about um, turning on plunder for Tusk Raider if we get rid of those, but honestly, I probably shouldn't be. With us having, with all of our units basically having Overwhelm, um, Overwhelm is a good way to turn on plunder, that's for sure. Get that damage to the Nexus. Okay, so this was the one matchup that is just going to be tough. Because we're a similar deck to theirs, but our deck is worse. That's just how it is. Um, yeah, I mean, that's just how it is. That's that's one thing about playing normal or playing ranked like in normal. We didn't... I don't think we faced this matchup, pretty sure. But... What is good against very large Overwhelm units is Frostbite. So that's, they got an edge up on us. So I kept everything in hand because um, we have the attack token turn four. And so I'm hoping that like we play Trapper on turn three and that we'd have... Um, yeah, you know, that we'd be able to attack and do damage and be able to play Wolf Rider with getting the empty mana gem on turn four and then ramp it to Sejuani but that didn't happen our homes. Alert the all right so they went with that that three two so I just went with my omen hawk to trade with it Can't click past turn. 
if I click fast turn, they could also pass turn. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. Patience. And then I'd get nothing. I'll cut them apart. Face me. You're mine. Glory Seeker is just such a great card. So we should be drawing Enraged Yeti. Oh, no, not yet. So the next two cards are both Enraged Yetis. We want to play against like any literally anything else. <laughs> this is the one matchup we really don't want to face. Enough stalling. Anything else, aggro control. We I'm fine with playing against it. But yeah, Wolf Rider not looking so great. The war mother will unite us all. Chance of winning that anymore. Glory Seeker was incredible. All right, maybe. We, all right, we're gonna try taking these out. We're gonna take them out. We're gonna have maybe go two assessor and. I kind of want to play another hearth guard. But is Assessor better than... Let's play another Ballista. Is Assessor better than... Babbling Bjerg for our deck? And sometimes it will. Other times it won't. Like, it kind of depends on, like, the game. Let's try that out. All right, I'm gonna take out the marksman too and play um, hearth guard, and so we'll have. Basically, I just took out a three and three fours and put in a three, two fours, and a five. Yeah, there's yeah definitely nothing wrong with the hecarim harrowing deck yeah harrowing and, and hecarim together are super super powerful when you get when you're able to get those two working together it is amazing um it's just you know it's, yeah like that those two are amazing together all right well unfortunately we're getting this matchup again This is not a very good video. I, I understand that. And I'm sorry, this, of like, hey, ch check out this deck. Oh wait, we're just gonna play against something that's a lot like it, except for way better. At least in this kind of matchup. Like, the thing, the reason to play, so you're, you're probably wondering like, why would I ever play this deck then if I can just play that one? The reason would be um, against control decks where um, you don't have 
you know, against against control decks having three ones and five ones, you know, against decks with like static shock and stuff like that. Not as good. Not as good to have three ones and five ones in those matchups. And then also you don't have all the frostbite cards that don't that aren't really doing anything in those matchups. It's just in the the mirror match that we're currently playing right now. In the mirror match, these cards that the frostbite midrange playing are playing are absolutely amazing. Hey Biz, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Try me. If I cast Death's Hand right now, we can we save one mana, right? Like we can bank one spell mana, which could make a big difference later. So we'll see. I'm not mad at that. Elixir of Iron's a heck of a card, and. Getting it out of their hand to just protect a 3-1 isn't really that good. You own what you take. I just have so much mana still with the 5 mana. The Tusk Rider... Cause see, like, if I go Tusk Rider here, I don't ha I, like, I don't get to Frostbite the Enraged Yeti, but I, you know, like, even if if the Tusk Rider gets Frostbitten, it can still just block all these other things very easily. Okay, well, probably would have done that to that. There we go, Biz with that resub. Thank you, Biz. I'm doing very good. Thank you. Our fourth sub of the day. So if we get paired against this match again, I'm just going to be conceding and going to the next one. Oh, that's still lethal. What am I doing? Awesome. Glad you're feeling good today. Glad to hear it. Yeah, glad to hear it. Our deck felt a lot better whenever we played it last time. We didn't face that matchup a single time. Faced four other matchups. Or five other matchups, I guess.
Okay, good. Hmm. Wonder if I was supposed to keep the cotton cold. Yay, Omen Hawk. We'll see if, if Assessor is better than Wolf Rider for us. It may not be. I mean, we may I the may just kind of have to play it on turn four, because it's not like it's better to play after all this other stuff. I was gonna go straight to attacks with a 3-1 and then we drew the 4-4. Four, four. Five five for us. Can't be. All right, at least this turn we get to play these two. Draw a card. Set up blockers. Spitter out from the darkness. Close to level up. Get him, Tusk Rider. There's nothing to fear. So they won't be able to damage Tusk Rider. Enemies with four or less power cannot damage me. Yes, yeah, so they'd have to use Callista. I guess I said they couldn't, but they could with Callista. So we'll have our other Tusk Rider also, and then plus Fury of the North. So 13 Overwhelm. Coming in quick. Okay, save him, just save him for life. You'll serve me one way or another. Trust is a weapon. This is where I need Tusk Raider. Just take five. Could I take five? Yeah, I could probably take five. Hmm. 
the savage cold. We got Darius at the end. This is this is what our deck's all about. 28 overwhelm damage. They got their little one ones to block. But let's be real, we got 28 overwhelm damage. Those little one ones aren't helping. One and zero in the non-frostbite division. Look at those tusk riders getting all that damage in. Cause yeah, it's pretty nice. That, you know, they blocked with two twos, but they're still really big because they didn't take any damage. Pretty nice. Yay! <laughs> if it's just not frostbite mid range, I'm just gonna say yay. All right, well, Mulligan, Sejuani, keep these. I could see Mulliganing the second Ruthless Raider as well, but we'll keep it. Teemo Callista could be a few different decks. You know, could be like Phantom Prankster kind of deck, or it could be Control deck. Um, I made a spooky, a spooky Teemo deck with these as the champions the other day. That was a control deck. The winter's claw strikes. It could definitely be control. <laughs> nope, not my deck. Looks like it's Phantom Prankster. Card. Um, the trap is set. Yeah, I can't really play the other Ruthless Raider because he's just take out Ruthless Raiders so efficiently. We'll play the 4-4. Four, four. Would be a good turn to draw the one drop if we had to choose because I can double spell with the Ruthless Raider and the one mana 5 5 this turn. Okay, well, we can still double spell with those. Where uh, then, you know, next turn we can Hearth Guard, the turn after that, Tusk Rider or Sejuani. Alright, so we definitely know Enraged Yeti is our top card. It's going to be a 6-6 six, six as well. Stand and defend. I think I'm playing Sejuani, though, and then the turn afterwards playing Tusk Rider and um, the Enraged Yeti together. But I just want to go after... Phantom Prankster? Yeah. Team us a little ways away from level up. Words to die by. Never 
assassins, stand together! The Winter's Claw! So one power doesn't do any damage to... You know, 1-1 one, one doesn't do any damage to the Ruthless Raider anyway. pretty good. So now they're going to have three Shark Chariots attacking with Callista Shark Chariot. That's pretty good. Oh, never mind. They have a 4-3. Well, it's kind of better, but... Alright, you block there. And... Block here, block here. That means I take... Um, one, two, three, four, down to seven. And then I have ten pop caps. What's the worst that could happen? Oh. Science without a little risk. Well fought. We have another Sejuani, so we good. It is a nine nine Captain Farron. Guess that could be better than playing Sejuani. All right, Captain Farron Smash. So yeah, I could make a one. I could make the one health thing vulnerable as far as Sejuani is concerned. But they could just play like Blighted Caretaker and kill it, or um, Glimpse Beyond and kill it, like that. So like the vulnerable wouldn't matter. Get him, Captain. Alright, Captain, get him. You, you have earned your fate. I don't know, they said GG. Does that mean that I lose? I guess so they mean like if they have atrocity, I lose. They just have burn spells. Ah, uh, so close. So close. All right, so we're two and two. Two and zero oh against non-Frostbite mid-range decks. Just such a bad matchup for us, but other stuff, our deck looks pretty good. Like, it's just surprisingly good just to play huge overwhelm things. I wonder if you can play, can you play a Callista deck where Shark Chariot's like your biggest unit? I guess with like Rekindler maybe. You know, like where, so like where Callista's like bringing back Shark Chariot or maybe bringing back Rekindler, you know, like at that point, Rekindler is great.
wonder if he can. Yeah, like, they, they were bringing back the 4-3, so, like, I wouldn't want... Like, I don't think you should play Cursed Keeper in that deck, because you don't want to bring back a 4-3. You want to bring back Shark Chariot, so that the next turn... Next turn you attack, you can attack with more Shark Chariots. The Winter's Claw strikes. Yeah, get that 1-6 City Breaker. What's up, 1-6? Should be Mega Rain. Because that would be the best thing they could have. Should be Mega Rain, but this means that we're getting four Overwhelm damage in. Blocking means their plunder things don't turn on. Doesn't help Twisted Fate or... Um, not Twisted Fate, sorry, Game Playing. Doesn't help Game Playing. Always up for a round or two. Dead in their tracks. And that's why I led with the 4-3, because I led with something that didn't die to gold card. The 3-1 would die to gold card. Super easy to kill this one six. Explosives primed. Hang them by their entrails. All right, I want to use Sejuani next turn. Our Sejuani will be leveled up, thanks to the City Breaker. Huh. This one gets the plus one, plus one from Moment Hawk. Guess we'll play that one. So hoping they don't have vengeance. Be nothing left when I'm done. Just the screams of a All these powder kegs are so annoying. Stand and fight. Okay, at least Gangplank's gone. Hopefully they stop that Powder Keg madness. I, you know, if, only, if we had one more mana for that Fear of the North, that would have been pretty great on the 4-1, but that's all right. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Scar Maiden Reaver. Pillage and burn. Pillage and burn. Pillage and burn. 
So they're going to have... We're going to have the O2 block Sejuani so it dies and then it grows the Bark Beast. Clear off. That's my guess. Oh, no, maybe not. Shouldn't that be the other way around? Cool. I take 11. That was not a very good block. But even even with those powder kegs making those withering whales pretty big, our our units were just simply too big, and we didn't even you know we didn't even have the biggest of our units and stuff. But yeah, Scarman Reaver Sejuani, of course, was very good. But there, that's like what City Breaker can do is can really help out Sejuani, as we saw like that last game. Um, yeah, that's what I I was I was scared of that that the Bark Beast was just good, like they were gonna go Bark Beast into Ruination. That deck's not playing that many ruination. And if they did, if that like that was definitely the worst case scenario. If they did, I still had a backup Sejuani. Yeah, one six city breaker. Gotta get those attacks in. So yeah, if you if you play against decks that are not mid-range frostbite, I think that this deck can do really, really well. As we saw it go 3-0 against other decks. Um, you don't have, like, the Frostbite cards that you don't need against Control. You're just, like, always curving out and smashing. And, you know, if you if you want to play, like, a pretty straightforward game like that, this deck is pretty awesome. Uh, just just know that you're going to have one one matchup that you're just not going to win. And that's that's the Frostbite midrange matchup for this deck. Um, but besides that, I, I think this deck can do really well against everything else. Um, you know, against Aggro, it can go a little bit bigger and still be pretty fast. And, and against... Um, against uh, control you got tons and tons of really good things against control and it's just it's this is a really hard deck to control with all of these huge units um and then you know having captain farron at the top end and tusk raider drawing you more sejuanis now we have the assessors in here too it seems really difficult for control to deal with um and like all these bilge water decks everywhere this is going to be difficult for them to deal with um you know, something like Leviathan Swain could be a difficult combo because we're not playing much removal at all. So that could be a difficult combo for you. But um, pretty good, straightforward deck. Just play your stuff and smash. Um, yeah. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Uh, got any ideas for like the the middle part of this deck for cleaning it up? Do you like the assessor? Do you want Wolf Rider? Do you think Babbling Bjerg would be better here? Um, you know, feel free to leave any of those comments. I'd appreciate it. But thank you so much for watching some Overwhelm Smash, and I'll see you for the next video.